start off with Fano's inequality. So Fano, along with Shannon, was one of the famous early information theorists. In Fano's inequality, we have uh, basically a relationship between uh, entropy and probability of error. So the setup is Channel inputs x, channel outputs y, and here's the channel with some probability of y given x, and then some processing function g, and then some estimate x hat, which is equal to g of y. And the probability of error is equal to the probability that x hat is not equal sent x. <clears throat> so with those definitions, oh, one other definition. Uh, recall um, the function little h, little h of p is the binary entropy function, in, our, in other words, it's the uh, entropy of a binary source with probability of 1 equal to p, and that is p log 1 over p plus 1 minus p log 1 over 1 minus p. So Fano's inequality states theorem. Well, actually, let me write this back at the top. Sx, that is the, uh, or excuse me, Sx is the set of allowed uh, channel inputs. Few remarks. 
remarks on these terms. Um, firstly, h of e given x and y. So, um, if I know what x is, then I know what was sent. If I know what y is, then I know x hat. So, this is what was sent. Y, g of y, the deterministic function g is x hat. So I know it was detected or received. So if I know both x and x hat, then e is deterministic. In other words, e is not random. So what's the entropy of something that's deterministic? It's zero. So therefore, the entropy of E given x and y is zero. In other words, if I know everything about, uh, if I know enough that E is no longer random, or if you know enough that a certain random variable is no longer random, uh, then its entropy is zero. So we can rewrite this as h of x given y is equal to, so in other words, I can take these two terms and make them equal, except this is zero. So therefore, h of x given y is equal to h of x given e and y plus h of e and y. Okay, now let's examine these two terms. This inner sum, I'm going to say if e equals 0, so let me just rename this to h of x given y and e is equal to 0. And if e is 1, I'll rename this to h of x given y and e equals 1. So normally, the uh, conditional entropy, we, mark, we, uh, we take the average over these values. But here I'm going, to, I'm going to stick them in specifically, and that's what we get in this term. In other words, this is this term where e is fixed at 0, and that is this term where e is fixed at 1. 